you know, it's seven minutes ago. And, uh, you know, I saw we had bodies, you know, Jose wanted to go in. I, I told him, you know, just let Jose play. But, you know, uh, I should have just went in. You know, it wouldn't have been no confusion. And, you know, uh, obviously I, I should have known it was going to be, because I didn't play throughout the duration of the game, it was going to look bad. But it wasn't as people were trying to make it. But uh, next time I'm definitely going to go in. I apologize to T. Lou and for any confusion and stuff like that. But that's all it was. So you did not refuse to go in? No, nah, I told them, they called my name. They did call my name, but I was like, just let Jose, he, you know, he was warming up, ready to play, so I just said, let him go in. I should have took it more serious and, and went in there and got some reps up, you know, get a little rhythm, so. It's kind of, kind of frustrating postseason for you. I mean, you started the first round as a starter, and minutes have been kind of reduced as you're going along here. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it, well, I think the frustrating part is that, you know, I got a lot more I can give to the team, and I just haven't been, you know, I haven't played well. You know, regardless of what minutes I get, you know, while I'm out there, I, uh, I got to make a positive impact on the game. So that's the frustrating part. And the good thing about it, we got a lot of basketball left, you know, and, uh, you know, it's, it's just next play, next series, and try to get better. I just want to be four games for the Oh, no, we're great. We're great. And um, and I told him, I told him when I first got here, um, but, you know, I told him, like, I'm a selfless guy, even though this don't look well, but, you know, I'm a selfless guy, and regardless of how many minutes I play, start and coming off the bench, don't play, whatever, like, I'm, you know, I'm trying to win. I'm trying to win the ring, so that's what it's about, you know. Um, you know, I just, like I said, I got to make a positive impact when I'm out there. That's the only thing I'm really worried about. But, he, you know, we had a great conversation uh, yesterday. And uh, he got a lot of confidence in me, you know, as a player. And, you know, whenever I get the opportunity, I just got to go out there and play. Did you teammates understand what happened? They, they was laughing at me, you know, when I, I apologized to the teammate, to my teammates. And it was like, hey, you know, that's, that's not really a distraction. You know, that's because of everything they've been through this year. You know, so, uh, you know, they, they all took a lot of it. They understand and things like that. So it wasn't a, a dist uh, anything really better on the floor in the playoffs? Does it come down to fundamentals and just remembering? Like, I mean, it's just, is it just? Uh, yeah, man, it's just about not going out there thinking, man. Trying, you can't play, mistake. it's no such thing as mistake-free basketball, and I think that's what, you know, I've been doing. And um, when you do that, you, you allow yourself to, to make mistakes, you know what I mean? You're missing shots, you know, and things like that. So, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's tough, but, you know, it always come back around. You know, it might be one game, one shot, and turn everything around. Have you been able to look at the film and see why you've been struggling uh, the way that you have in the postseason? Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I've been looking at uh, you talking about as far as my shot, just play in general. All the above? Uh, I mean, just looking at things like, you know, uh, defensive position, you know, uh, offensively, you know, where, you know, I could bring the ball up the court. You know, I know Toronto was pressing a lot. You know, I could have brought the ball up the court. That was an opportunity for me. But, you know, as far as shots and things like that, you know, I, nah, not really. You know, just getting in the gym, just working. And, you know, it, it always turns around. Is it a little overwhelming? Now you're going to be in the fire, conference finals. Oh, no, nah, it's, it's basketball, man. You know, um, you know, it, obviously the stakes are getting higher, but, you know, it's basketball. We're playing a really good Boston team coming up. And, you know, uh, you know we got to be prepared for that one. And hopefully we all clicking on our cylinders. You played really well in that game. February 11th there. Does that give you confidence or in, or in looking at that game, was there something you were doing in that game that you haven't been able to do lately? Yeah, I mean, that was probably our, I might, I might be, but it's probably one of our best games as a group. You know, the energy that we played with, you know, the uh, not thinking because we didn't really know much at the time. And uh, now just getting back to that, just going out there, flying around, running the court hard, defending, you know, uh, being physical, all the things we did in that game, I think it was confidence. In the offense in the playoffs as compared to what it was in the regular season as far as trying to figure out how to, you know, get involved in sets? Uh, nah, it's not as far as me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's been a little bit of difference, um, you know, um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's going towards the high guy. We've been finding something to work with Kyle and Kevin, you know, on the side, and we've really been milking that. And um, obviously LeBron's going to do, do what he does, and, you know, um, everybody else has got to, you know, cut hard. You know, being in the right places, run the core hard, and just find our way a little bit. One more question. Watch uh, Boston throughout this postseason.
They're playing well, man. They're playing, they're playing just as good as anybody in the league. You know, they, uh, they're a really good defensive team. Offensively, they move the ball. They really uh, make you work on that end, and they run the shot clock down a little bit. And, um, you know, they got some guys that's, uh, on the perimeter and their bigs, but really on the perimeter is really playing well. So, you know, we want to uh, try to limit, limit those guys as much as we can and get out to a good start. Too.